We are back with your health. And this morning, a lot of you have questions about traveling and getting together with loved ones this holiday season in light, of course, of the Omicron variant. Yeah, for good reason. So who better to ask than NBC's senior medical correspondent, our friend Dr. John Torres, who joins us again this morning. Dr. Torres, nice to see you. Let's get right to it. First, Linda and Weber from Florida, they ask, if we're gathering with fully vaccinated people, is there anything we should do differently? You know, this is a fantastic question because we want people to get together. We want people to have fun this holiday season. But remember, too, we're worried about case numbers going up. So great that everybody's vaccinated, but start thinking about getting booster shots because we know those booster shots can bump that efficacy, that effectiveness of the vaccine back up. And also remember, in some areas, it's getting a lot colder. So if it's an option, go ahead and go outside if it's safe. If not, go ahead and open some windows so you can ventilate as best possible. And then these are back. Masking is on the table. So if you feel more comfortable, wear your mask while you're indoors. Ask others to wear theirs as well, especially if you notice case numbers going up in your area and you still end up getting together, Peter. All right, back to the basics. All right, this is from Lisa and Ken. They are traveling to Ohio with their little ones this holiday. They ask, mm -hmm. for young children who can't get vaccinated yet, should we change our plans or is it safe to get together? I think so many families have that same question. And, you know, it is safe to get together, but you want to make sure you do it safely. And we expect people to gather this holiday season, especially after last year when we said, you know, let's calm down for a little bit for a year here and not get together. But the key this holiday season is to stay as flexible as possible. You want to monitor the COVID situation in your area. If it's going back up, you might want to scale back a little bit on the size of your gathering and make sure that everybody stays safe. And everyone who can be vaccinated should be vaccinated. Go ahead and get it now. That way, at least jumpstarts the process. If you're vaccinated, get your booster. And then look at who everyone is within there the week before. Make sure that you talk to them about staying extra safe. In other words, stay to themselves. Don't go out and do anything risky. Don't go to holiday parties. And just make sure that they stay safe. And then everyone should monitor their health. If they're feeling sick, whether they think it's allergies, cold, flu, anything, they need yeah. to stay home. Mm. All right, Dr. T, let's go to Brooklyn now. Jerome and Valentino, they ask... Is it safe to travel by plane? And for those holiday parties, what are the best ways to keep everybody safe? And this is important here. Masking is going to be key here. So you want to wear it at all time. And yes, it's required in some places, especially on the airplane at the airport. But you want to wear it anytime you're out in public. And then monitor COVID again where you are. You're hearing that theme going on time and time again. That's important. And vaccinations and boosters will give you the most protection while you're traveling. So everyone who can be vaccinated and boosters should be. And then think about rapid tests beforehand. I talked to an expert this week, and she did remind us that those rapid tests are only good for about 6 to 12 hours. So they're just a snapshot in time, but they can help right before that party. And then again, ventilate, open windows, open doors, remind people to bring in an extra sweater or jacket if it's cold so they can stay safe and warm. And again, if anybody feels sick, and this is important, make sure they stay away. Important point about those rapid tests. This one, I think, is a big question on everyone's minds, not just for the holidays, but beyond. Libby from Colorado asks, how concerned should I be about going back to an office full of people, Dr. John? How worried should we be? And that is the big question because a lot of offices are talking about going back in January, but hopefully we're going to learn a lot more about the Omicron variant in the next couple of weeks, how it behaves, how it interacts with the vaccines, and that could change some companies' plans to go back to work. I've heard companies are already starting to talk about that. So find out what your company's COVID policies are, what measures are in place for employees, are vaccines required, are boosters required, what about mask rules, is testing available, and then what happens if someone in your office, especially somebody on your floor or next to you, tests positive? What happens? to everybody else and then protect yourself as much as possible. You're hearing the same things here. Vaccinate, boosters, wear a mask. Those are going to be the big three, three things here this holiday season. All right. Always great information from the good doctor, Dr. Torres. Great to see you. Thank nice you so you, much. Dr. T. You hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.